This is Pogo. And this is Greg. Both of them are artificial intelligence agents with different abilities that will have to fight each other until only one of them comes on top. They will have to adapt and learn all by themselves what is the best strategy to dominate their opponent. Here is how it all works. Both agents are able to move in any desired direction, be it forwards, backwards and even diagonally with similar speed. They can also aim while standing still by rotating left and right and that also allows our agents to freely navigate the environment while aiming in any direction. Moreover, they have the ability to fire a bullet which will deal damage to their opponent on hit. Each agent has 100 health points and 100 stamina points. And while stamina regenerates every second, health doesn't, so once our fighter's HP reaches zero, it's finita for them. Every bullet you decided to let pass through your body will deal you 50 damage, which basically means you only need to catch two bullets to get minecrafted, and that's where the fun part begins. Both agents have the ability to dodge in any direction, but that ability is different for Pogo and for Greg. Pogo is able to dodge short distances, but a dodge costs only 25 stamina, and the cooldown is a second allowing our husky fella to spam his dodge ability way more often compared to Greg, who despite having much longer dodges, has to waste 50 stamina per jump and the cooldown is 2 seconds. This together with their unique abilities should result in quite different strategies between the two fighters. Talking about which, Greg's ability is Burst Fire, which fires 3 bullets in a row, resulting in colossal damage if aimed properly. Pogo, on the other hand, has to worry a little less about aiming because his ability is a shotgun blast, which fires three bullets with a slight difference in direction, resulting in a spread shot that can catch your opponents off guard with at least one of the projectiles. Moreover, if Pogo manages to get close enough to hit all three projectiles, this will make Greg pretty sad. Smash the like and subscribe button if you also would get upset when shot point blank in the face with a shotgun. As I said, our agents will have to learn all by themselves how to use all of their abilities and come up with a strategy that will allow them to dominate their opponent and they can do that thanks to reinforcement learning. Similar to how a child learns from his parents, Pogo and Greg will be rewarded for doing correct actions, such as murdering each other with a firearm, while being punished for the wrong decisions they make, such as dying and also for existing. Yeah, while the death punishment is quite self-explanatory, I feel like the existence punishment requires a little bit of commentary. Since the AI is punished for every second of being alive, it is motivated to finish the simulation as fast as possible, resulting in more aggressive and well-trained fighters, just like the gladiators in an arena. Or you end up with these depressed dum-dums. Hey, wait a second. I get how the AI learns. But how does it have a damn clue about what is even going on around him? Who the fuck said that? <laughs> um, alright, yeah, how does the AI observe the environment? Well, in order to see the environment, our agent shoots a set of lasers, or raycasts if you're a nerd, and each one of those rays will return some information depending on what object it collides with. This allows the agent to know whether there is a wall or a player or even an obstacle in front of him. Moreover, it tells the agent the distance to that object and since the rays rotate together with our agent, it also allows the AI to determine the relative direction of that object. Mm, okay, but what about the bullets? Can you also see those? Nah, for real, who the hell is asking? <laughs> But good question nonetheless. As you can see, bullets are not colliding with the raycasts, and that is on purpose. Instead, the AI has exact information about every single enemy bullet spawned, such as bullets position and direction. I made this on purpose so the agent can really learn how to dodge enemy projectiles in hopes to end up with a really dynamic fight at the end. Little spoiler, I think it worked, but keep watching. So if we have to summarize it, the agent observes the environment, makes decisions which are then punished or rewarded, which in turn reinforces certain behavior in the AI making it learn. Now, if you want to learn more about AI, computer science and math, you can finally do that thanks to the sponsor of this video, Brilliant.
Brilliant is what you learn by doing, with thousands of interactive lessons in math, data analysis, programming and AI. Exercise your intellect with engaging hands-on problem-solving courses, expertly designed by an award-winning team of teachers and researchers. Sharpen your critical thinking skills and cultivate a daily learning routine with Brilliant's engaging lessons that you can do whenever you have time. Brilliant's growing number of programming courses are a great way to build foundations and learn real-world applications. Get familiar with Python and start building programs from the get-go with the built-in drag-and-drop editor. Learn essential coding elements ranging from basic loops to complex conditionals and develop your mind to think like a programmer, building a strong foundation in writing robust code. Go to brilliant.org slash zuzeloapps or click the link in the description and enjoy 30 days for free as well as a 20% discount on their annual subscription. Thanks to Brilliant for being a long-term sponsor of this channel, please show them some support by following the links in the description and let's get started with the training. The first training session actually was during my stream where I, together with the chat, implemented the AI and made them train by fighting on this barren map. This was more like a proof of concept to figure out whether the AI can actually learn how to fight, thus I didn't add skills, any visuals, nor obstacles for now. At the start, both agents were confused to say the least. They would shoot in random directions and after a few seconds of confusion would Minecraft themselves into the walls, lol. Few thousand iterations later and we were already able to see some decent progress and even a hint of strategy from both agents. When we figured out the agents can actually learn to dodge bullets and fight, it was time to implement the obstacles and the skills back into the simulation. By the way, the skills for each agent were decided with the chat on stream as well, so make sure to join us every Monday, Wednesday and Friday here on YouTube or on my Twitch channel, so you can also participate in the development of upcoming videos. Oh, and also I'm training 40 simulations in parallel to speed up the training process. Once again, it started with some desperate soldiers which in their confusion kept smashing into the wall in the first seconds of the round. This kept happening round after round until on iteration number 8, after Greg hiding behind this obstacle tried to sneak up on Pogo just to get blasted in the face. The reason why Greg died in it after a single hit is because the agents spawn with randomized stats every time. One round it will start with 30 HP, the other with 100, and this ensures the agent can learn to adapt to different situations such as being on low HP. On round 11, Greg managed to predict correctly Pogo's trajectory, resulting in this impressive shot. The agents kept training and getting better at their craft, round after round improving their skills, eventually starting to use the environment and their abilities more and more often. Like on round 309, where Greg dodged into cover behind the obstacle in hopes to evade the bullet barrage, but unfortunately the moment he picked out, he got shot immediately. Feeling optimistic after seeing these results, I went to sleep anticipating even better fights in the morning, but I was quickly disappointed. Apparently, because the obstacle spawn is random, it is possible for the agents to be spawned in one of the cubes, and that's exactly what happened to Pogo. This isn't that big of a deal, because the chances of this happening are quite slim, and once the environment resets, the problem gets fixed by itself. The issue, however, is that the only way to reset the environment is for one of the agents to get minecrafted, lol. I didn't implement any time limit for the rounds, which meant that once the agents got stuck, I would have to manually restart the simulation or hope that the other AI decides to commit Sudoku into the wall. Anyways, I fixed the issue by limiting the obstacle spawn range and continued the training, so despite the round number resetting, the AI kept their knowledge, so I didn't have to train from scratch. I left the AI train for another 3 full days, enjoying the tremendous improvement the agents would go through day after day, and after a total of more than 150 hours of training, here is the final result. I added some visual effects on this arena to make it all look prettier. As you can see, we have all of our cute patrons enjoying the fight from the first rows. They are cute, but only as long as you ignore the fact that they are freaking huge, lol. Whoever gets 5 wins first will be the champion of this arena.
For now, the agents spawn right next to each other, but we will also try to spawn them far apart later on. In desperate attempts to push and shoot his opponent, Pogo is the one who catches the bullet first, but this doesn't stop him whatsoever. He keeps pushing and eventually his projectile also finds a target, resulting in both agents being half HP already. Pogo tries to make use of the situation and closes the distance even more, but Greg swiftly dodges behind Pogo, avoiding all danger and lands the finishing blow on his opponent. 1-0, Greg is winning. Round 2 once again starts with an aggressive attack from Pogo, who using the shotgun blast tries to confuse Greg, he hits him once, pinning Greg against the wall, gets closer to put him down and Pogo secures the victory in round 2. 1-1 one, one so far. Third round, despite starting with a confused Pogo running in circle and getting shot, quickly gets balanced out when Greg also catches a random bullet. The stalemate didn't last long though and Greg secured the kill after initially missing his burst shot. 2-1, Greg is winning. In round 4, Pogo wakes up and chooses violence. Ignoring all dangers, he sticks to Greg, not letting him go. After getting shot point blank, Greg tries to dodge out of this situation, but Pogo ain't letting his prey go, catches him and finishes the job. A tie once again, 2-2. Two -two. In round 5, Greg, despite seemingly losing the first half, manages to demonstrate some next level agility, escaping an entire bullet barrage unharmed and even manages to secure the win by hitting Pogo with the burst fire. Greg secures the lead, 3-2. Round number 5 and it's time for Pogo to demonstrate how sharp he is by passing in between two bullets and how clingy he is by getting close to Greg and never letting him leave ever again. Damn, that's a very close match so far. 3-3. Three, three. You can notice how desperate Pogo is to get closer to his opponent while Greg tries his best to keep the distance. Seems like Pogo realized that his shotgun blast is the most effective at small range while Greg's burst fire is way more useful from distance. Despite that, Pogo eats two bullets at almost point blank distance and Greg once again takes the leading position, 4-3. Round 7 starts and this one is pretty one-sided. Greg, being the apex gladiator that he is, swiftly avoids Pogo, not letting him close the distance and when the time was right, he caught his enemy off guard with a burst fire, securing his fifth win. Nice! Greg won this tournament and became the champion of the arena, but what if we spawn the two warriors further apart from each other? This time, each of the gladiators will be spawned in their respective side of the arena. Without any hesitation, both agents start pushing each other, accompanied by suppressive fire from both sides. Eventually, the two fighters got in a telephone booth fight, almost hugging each other until both of them got minecrafted. First round is a tie, I guess, 1-1. One, one. In round 2, Greg tries to keep the distance, as well as make better use of the obstacles on the map. Similar to a hunter, Greg kept patiently waiting behind the cover for Pogo to start pushing. Once it eventually happened, Greg demonstrated some of his sick moves, evading every single bullet, getting behind Pogo and bang! Another win for Pogo, 2-1. Round 3 was pretty weird as well, with Greg trying to keep his distance and Pogo trying to close that distance. But after our red husky warrior managed to catch up to Greg, an altercation ensued and both AIs got minecrafted in the process. The score is now 3-2, Greg is still winning. Round 4, on the other hand, was a pure display of power and precision. After dodging few bullets and getting in a good position, Greg lands his first shot at Pogo, who dodged right into it, followed by yet another bullet soon after. 4-2 in Greg's favor. On round 5, Pogo tried to go all in against Greg, who kept dodging around this obstacle. After getting shot once, Greg started a flank maneuver which proved to be highly efficient and secured the 5th win for Greg in this tournament, making him the undisputed champion of our gladiator arena. That's it for this video, but you can watch me work on my next project every Monday, Wednesday and Friday on stream here on YouTube or on my Twitch channel, link in the description. In the meantime, go watch this other video of mine where Chickles had to learn how to survive on a desolated island all by himself.